my favorite thing to chuck is actually the techies. I'm sorry. I actually don't like Slada and Rue. Let's see. So, a bunch of things got changed. Deny them. Yeah, and it's gonna be 1v1 top mech versus... Uh, Doom versus uh, Panda. Interesting. Doom has no armor, but it depends on whether... Okay, this ward is a really good ward. It's gonna block off this camp, which is gonna make Doom a lot weaker in the laning phase against Panda. S4 taking a beating here. He's skilled up Shadow Strike level, and one more auto tech might finish him off. He's got he a south. Just into the tree, Sayoma. Getting baited in. S4 salving now, and turns with a follow-up Shadow Strike. The Dukes, the plays, and the kill. All... How you doing, Bubba? Quick boulder toss, the immolation damage, heavy work being done here, and another boulder lob, All not right. even needed. Alright, no. They want the stacks, they see no Alk in the lane, oh, and they look no, to punish this, the... and he's too low to fight. Although Kama Courageous is pulling out, no one's here. Yes, the avalanche oh, cross combo up, he steals almost the entire stack, but now Loda looking to turn, he's at the level 1 stun. They may have to sacrifice a few here, solo pops, no one could be next. Did steal the majority of a quadruple stack no there, I believe. TPs, there's no way to cancel it. Oh my it. god! And he makes it! They lose all the So, it's gonna be a bounty room for Loda. His second of the game, but the reload is gonna come into play here. On, go on, not. on the nudge, nudge caught out, the avatar finishes the off, and now they're chasing Loda, he gets it, but... At what cost? Slow down by the tether. Can they chase for an additional kill? No, it looks like S4 is ready. He was prepared to jump in if need be, and they'll jump back. So. At what cost? But you survived. Uh, at the cost of a measly support lion. Okay. Support for But they're not done. You they're making their move on top. Room. Brewmaster split was deployed. They also committed a doom onto the bane, but he skates away. Aki and the trees to chain frost to bouncing. But there's a few too many targets. Doesn't really bring anyone that low. And now Bulldog engages the chain frost bouncing one more time back to no one but a doom bane. This is the bounce more off. Surges forward. The big jump. Clap to follow it up. Mag with the smack of doom. Down will go Bulldog on the Doom. A three. I feel like this happens a lot when Alchemist is picked. You know? Uh, is it is it just the Alchemist? Oh, oh, S4. Yeah, she could be in trouble here. The balls are gonna get vision, and now they're gonna scout him out. Amplify damage comes through. The physical damage is overwhelming. And Vega again get on the board with another kill. Six to two. They're yeah. heating up, Witzer. This rotation from the IO is just making. Oh, another one. Now they relook at top on the Bulldog everywhere. Alliance go. They are being punished, scouted, clobbered, and dead again. No one. Just, just look at. This. Already halfway to the eggs. If he wants to rush it. Just look at this tempo from Vega. They're so quick. Like they don't even need the dagger from the start. Out. As long as they're smooth. And you've got so many heroes who can't do anything. Bottling, bottling, Pasha, bring in. Lance is getting amplified damage. Up. Oh, there's not the even start. a CP yet. Meanwhile, the supports are busy grabbing oh, the bounty rune. He, he missed misses the stun. the stun, but there's no follow-up. Counter, maybe the Slardar. Pasha TP now. Just get caught. So, the tiny Io could have come bottom, but they decided to deny a bounty rune to Loda. Instead, they will lift their stun on S4, unfortunately. With that, might be able to turn this. Gets the popple. Still going to go down. And Solo, although low, will be finished. So no one survives this, it's fine. They drop the Sonic Wave, and they only get a support kill. You take that any day. Could have been cleaner had they gotten the avalanche, but oh, it was he's a blind gonna chase one. Him down. He's gonna chase him down. A uh, blink now revealed on Mag. He's got his ultimate five soon. Seconds. And Doom's in position, but he's gonna go. Oh, he didn't oh, get the Doom yet. Get the Doom. Chain Frost bouncing a beautiful bounce by Aki. Enough to get one. Make it in the end. Two kills. The tiny down. It's a triple for Alliance, but. Plus armor is in order for Alliance. A lot of physical damage. See, he's not even maxing his Nova on Akia. He's starting to get more points on the ice armor. Yeah. I actually like that with the way with the way Vega are playing and how aggressive they're being. Yeah, Slardar's in every fight early on. And you're gonna be looking for ice or something. Jumping in, that relocates the glimpse. Look at how fast he dies. Just look at that. Why am I talking about glimpse? I'm just I'm just crazy. Okay, gonna go down here. Bulldog now trapped out a bit. Vega. More heroes surrounding Bulldog, and all well, the finger comes through no one, but he's fairly durable. That long glass will die. Alliance with the turn. Mag, no split for 50. He claps Bulldog, he retreats. Pasha looking to engage as S4 jumps in, two hero crush. They get the grip off on S4. The Doom on the brew may be enough to finish him up. S4 not dead yet. Nuts has arrived. Pasha backing off quickly. Doom not in range for the follow up, and now Sayoma sleeping up the lion. No buybacks available here aside from the brew. But they're slip pushing. They're going to show the tiny IO top wall. Sayoma moves in bottom. S4 almost reveals this. In fact, they will blink clap. They were ready instantly. Locking him down with the Fiend's grip. They'll get the kill. Avalanche toss. Am damage. So that's hmm. his plan. What a really non cost. Nah, he's gonna have to send one. Brew splits. Engages on the low to top lane. Where's the backup coming in? The crush is there. It's also on the low to dropping low. Now tries to run to the right, but to the right, it's Sayoma the player. And they'll bring seven to finish the fight. And damage coming out. They do no one. 
and they will try to focus him down. The chainsaw's bouncing, but the tiny's alive. Clobber Inake will finish him off. It comes at the cost of a tiny and an IO. And now Mag with no split available needs a little bit of backup. The clap crush combo arrives. They have five back on both tiny and IO. So no relocate to re-engage. So a two for two. Very even. And Alk for a tiny. Very even. And supports, but who cares about them? Come on, dude. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Here we go. I'm not kidding. Cool. I'm gonna go down here. <laughs> Funny joke, mate. Good stuff. And it's gonna be uh, essentially a, a four man takedown unless S4 breaks out. Five man takedown. Oh, actually, I. Man, there is a glyph available. Think of maybe they even try to fight the top as well. Let's see, do they want to risk it? They could do, though. Are they going to try it? They're going to try. They TP in the Brewmaster. Now they go. Alliance. You know, just like, out. I think they only TP one hero and the other's like. <laughs> but, uh, okay, that, with that being said, they're still the real kid. So it's not. It's, it's three heroes top. It's never exactly. And the Brewmaster is three heroes when he splits. So. Greeting as well, or trying to rather, is the Bane. He's doomed and will just barely survive. Brain steps up, but not so lucky. Is Mag, who's in a bit too far. Now they're chasing, okay. they commit a claw. claw okay. ultimate. No, they already used it to come in. The, the oh, Glimmer, you said. I thought you said relocate. Radiant Vision, non existent. Oh, he needs the Arcane Boots, speed grips. The good old Arcane Boots relocate. And that's a bit of. Oh, Solo didn't even bother bringing in no way. Seems they may have. Do they have like They could tether to Sayoma. They could tether to Sayoma. He's gonna Glimmer Kip. Tethers the long range retreat. Get me out of here. Solo now with the TP out. They don't commit the chain frog, so Yule Scepter is enough. They stun Solo and will bring him down, but it's a five hero smoke. I can talk about the possibility of him getting an ice armor creep as well. So, fuck over. The eternal end. That would be really good for them. They are working on structures here. Armor up on the tower, slightly slowing things down. The Alcatraz comes through, but it's DKB dodged. And now Mag engages onto the lion on the backside. The little old squishy support quickly dropping. Ice armor on the racks as well, but is it going to be enough to stop? No one from finishing up. Just needs two more auto techs. One more. He can get an objective already. Now, the lion's engaging. S4 deploys his ultimate and dies to the stick. A big clobber from no one as low, uh, long last Loda gets in the fight but a three hero crush well placed by Pasha chain frost is the bouncing but it's simply not enough damage they're forced to buy back now on the out as well as the Io who tries to save the fight for Vega and does a good deal to help keep the team alive still there's an Aegis available Vega crushing their way right through Alliance looking for the 2-0 throwing Alchemist Illusions at Alchemist why the hell not and now no one finishes Radiant's off the building Vega that you can at least go for even if you Alchemist has just had a terrible win rate the past 10 to 15 games. Armor, we are still gonna die instead because they just have too much physical damage, too much minus armor. Tony's in the house and he's eager for kills and structures. Doom unable to buy back for this one as no one continues to go to work. Has a BKB available, still hangs on to the Aegis if need be. Okay, no Chain Frost for 20, no one starting to take some damage. The Alchemist slept up, will look to unleash the summon. A BKB from no one, he said Lona, so the damage target will end up stunning himself. It quickly drops with the Amplify damage deployed. Vega slapping down a line. Game number two. That is a dieback on the Alchemist. And now the amp damage combined with the grip. Just look at how quickly Bodo drops. It's like two seconds that he's dead. Ice armor, ice armor. Not enough. Vega unstoppable at this point as they have extended their gold lead into the abyss of suffering now. Over 10,000, 15,000 gold probably. So strong, they're looking so good. They are just wrecking. And the drafts, we're showing some diversity, not afraid, afraid to bust out an unconventional hero for mag like a brew. I'm ready to put all my chips onto the Vega. At the Frankfurt Major. Yeah. Would you, I'm ready. Top three, first place. How far are you willing to go? How far am I willing to go? I'm going to go all the way for Vega. Vega will win the Frankfurt Major. You heard it here first, guys. I mean, they are... Now, bear in mind, mind Winter also said Fnatic would beat Secret at ESL. I... That was merely a discussion that we had during...